thumbs up. Drivers behind the line. In three, two, one, go. You have your first seat alliance here on the blue lines to stay close attention to them as we begin playoffs match 10. Plenty of points remaining in the match of the game. Just a few seconds into autonomous period, 234. That's blue, Cyber Blue already up on the level configuration on their charge station. 71 Team Hammond able to match them. The points should be just about even as we move into the teleop period. The students have picked up and are in control of the robots that they built over six to 10 weeks. They have the remainder of the match. That's about a minute, uh, two minutes. That's 120 seconds to decide the fate of their team. Team 71 Hammond, they have a unique dry mechanism using four wheel, six wheels and a tank dry mechanism, allowing them to move very quickly across the field in a straight line. They're making use of that heavily throughout the game, mostly in a defensive position. 447, that's Team Roboto quickly maneuvering to place a cone in the center of their grid, doing so successfully in that middle row, gains them three points for their alliance. Lynx used to be of utmost importance during qualifications. You can still get points for those during the match today, where Link is three points horizontally placed in the grid. Those are worth five points for every correct completion. 447 and 235 getting some bumper and bumper action in the center of the field. That is allowed per the rules as long as they keep that contact time to a minimum. The score is currently 66 to 79 in favor of your third alliance. Plenty of time left in the match for your blue alliance to change that score. 829, the digital ghosts, they've been ferociously completing so far in this competition. They've quickly placed a, a cone in the top of their grid, scoring five points for their alliance. 447, that's Team Roboto giving heavy pressure on all members of the blue alliance, forcing them to take extra time to maneuver around them. Meanwhile, the Red Alliance has been competing with force, already placing two more objects on their grid with still over a minute remaining in our match. Or sorry, we're down to 30 seconds remaining in our match. We're about to enter endgame. That's endgame. Robots will start to make their way towards their charge stations. They're looking to get it into a level configuration, also known as engaged, and get 10 points for every robot that's up there. We've seen most of these teams try to get three robots while well, to see what we can do with the time remaining, just under 10 seconds remaining in our match. We might have to count this down. It might be a photo finish. The Red Alliance getting three up there. The Blue Alliance trying to match them. Both teams successful in getting three robots on their charge station. That's an additional 30 points for each alliance. We'll have to see how these scores total up. The difference for this match was six points. Let's see your scores for the or playoffs 10. Your winners are the Red Alliance. Your Red Alliance, that's Alliance 3, beating your first alliance by six points. Your third alliance will continue to play another match. We'll see them next in match 12. Unfortunately, our first alliance has been eliminated, so we want to thank 3940, that's Cybertooth. 234, that's Cyber Blue, and 3890, that's breaking away. We want to thank you so much for coming to the Greenwood Finn District Competition and competing today.